my name is Tyler from Club Card. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a print ready business card file using Illustrator. So the first thing we want to do is set up our artboard. So you go up to File New, and then here we want to enter our dimension. So in inches we want to put a width of 3.75 uh, by 2.25 inches. So that dimension includes the bleed, so that's good. And then down here in the colors we want to make sure the color mode is set to CMYK, and the master effects is at least 300 dpi and then just hit OK. So that's going to draw our artboard for us. You can see that right there. So you can see here we've got our bleed, our trim, and our critical lines. The bleed line here is showing where all background colors and images need to extend out to. We've got our trim line, which the cards are going to be cut at, and then our critical margin, where all the text and logos need to be inside that line, just to prevent anything from being too close to the edge or being trimmed off. Um, so we're going to set up these guides ourselves just so we can use them while we're designing. And the first thing there, we want to turn on our rulers. So go up here to view and to show rulers. And that will turn these on here. And then to, to set up the guides, you just click on the actual ruler and drag out. So you can see here, these first lines we're drawing are trim lines. That's where the card is going to be cut. And these are one eighth of an inch from the edge of the file here. The next line is our critical area, just showing where all the important text and logos need to be inside these lines, just so nothing is too close to the edge during trimming. Perfect, so there we've got our guides, so now we can start setting up our files. Um, I've already got something set up here, so I'm just going to drop that in. So there we go. Drop my content in. You'll notice anything that extends right to the edge of the card is going to bleed off the edge, right to the edge of the file. And then all important text and objects are inside the critical line here, so nothing's too close to the edge. So there we go. Let's save our file. We'll go up here to File, Save As. And then we want to save this. B card, make sure that's an Illustrator file, and hit save, and hit OK. So that is our editable file if we ever need to go in and make changes. You can see here this text is still editable. Um, but that doesn't work for the printer, so let's set up another file for sending to press. Uh, first thing we want to do is select all. So you can either go here up to select all, or hit Control or Apple A. Once you've got that, you'll see the objects are selected. You want to convert all the text and fonts to outlines. So you go up here to type, and down to create outlines. That's going to change this text here from an actual editable font to a shape. So now we can't go in and edit this anymore, it's just shapes. So now we want to save this as a print file. We want to make sure that it's, we don't save over our Illustrator file, so we can go back and edit our original file. So go here at File Save As, and we're going to change this here to a PDF. And we're going to add print to our file name, and hit Save. So in this box here you can select some options if you want to open the PDF after saving to view and double check, you can click that. Um, other than that, the only other things you want to make sure is under compression that there's no downsampling. And under marks and bleeds, you don't need any of this on because we've already got our bleed inside the PDF file. So that's all good. And hit save PDF. And there you go. Now you can see here we've got our editable Illustrator file and then our PDF file to send to the printers. Hope that's been helpful uh, teaching you how to set up a business card using Illustrator. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us through Club Card TV and stay tuned for more tips on how to print.